Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? What's going on guys? Happy Friday. Doesn't necessarily mean anything to me because I'm a, a hairstylist, so. <laughs> I've worked every Saturday for the last 15 years, so <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything to me. So, I'm here to give you the weekend tarot, and for some reason, the angels have been coming in hardcore today. Um, I feel like you guys have some specific message that is, messages that are due. If you guys want to go ahead and like and comment and share this out, some people may need to be hearing some messages today. There's a reason you're here. These messages are tying up. Um, excuse me. These messages are timeless. So, doesn't matter when you catch it. If it's today, tomorrow, in a year, whenever. If you see it, it's when you're meant to see it. So, I'm going to get going on the collective reading. So, what I do is I start reading off for everybody involved. So, everybody that's coming in here is going to get this reading because it's all for everybody's high and best. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to make it fit into your situation. If it's not making sense, then it's for someone else. Um, if it is making sense, you know, there's going to be a couple hundred people in here at some point. So, God's first universe. Please help me connect with my spirit guides as well as the collective spirit guides so that we may hear these messages you have for us in this now moment, only for our highest and best, doing harm to none. Thank you and amen. So what do we need to know for this weekend? This Labor Day weekend. I know people are traveling, so this, this reading will be good from Friday to Monday. So specifically, let's see what we have going on for this weekend alone. And then sometime next week or so it's too many cards oh hello here we go um sometime next week i'll probably do one for september we'll see what happens so water energy which makes sense because water is pisces energy <clears throat> and pisces this full moon this full super moon has been absolutely off the chain so I'm sure everybody's been feeling something kind of something lately and it's been like an emotional thing. I feel like <sighs> lots of anxiety around finances, which makes a lot of sense. Um, lots of anxiety around relationships. Um, I'm hearing <laughs> it's kind of a weird one. I'm hearing Fisher cut bait. <laughs> Like, there's a relationship you've had with somebody for a very long time. Could be a family member, could be a romantic partner, or it could be your career. Um, yeah, it's just like you've been in this situation for such a long time, and I feel like you guys have been holding on to it because you feel stuck. Um, and you don't really know how to get out of it, or if you should, because you're afraid of what everybody's going to say or think or whatever. The main thing is it's not about them. It's about you and your happiness and what feeds your soul. If you're staying in a situation solely for the purpose that you don't want to upset anyone else, that's not fair to you. So, mm -hmm. so I don't do any specific type of spreads. I just draw until spirit tells me to stop. Whoa. I knew it. The angels were just a coming in. 
All right. So far, if this is resonating with you guys, we haven't even gotten to the reading yet. I'm just going off of what your guys are telling me to begin with. Um, but the angels are definitely wanting to let you guys know that they are there for you. They are working things behind the scenes for you and you're worrying too much. If you put too much worry in a situation, it's going to hinder the things that come in for you. It's going to hinder all the blessings that you have coming. Um, because if you're pushing too hard, like I, I'm just like, I'm the kind of person where you got to let me do things at my own pace, which is perfectly fine for, for everybody. Like there's some people that have to do it right then and there. There's other people that have to relax and just let it come as it does. But it's not to the point of where you start procrastinating. It's just, you'll do it in your own time and nobody can push you to do it. So that's how your spirit guides and your angels are, is they're doing things in their time, not yours. So the more you keep pushing, the more you're hindering what's happening because they don't like being pushed. You're not the boss of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, major, major, major angel energy here, guys. Mm-hmm. So this is my angel tarot deck. And that's really pretty. The artwork is beautiful. Um, they tend to give a little bit more of a detailed answer to what's going on and what kind of questions you have. I know that the collective, I can't answer everybody's individual questions. Um, but if there's something you need to know, it will come through. I am literally just the messenger. So... All I'm doing is tapping into what your spirit guides and your guardian angels need to say to you today, especially with the angels. I'm just feeling the angel energy big time because you guys are being protected. I'm getting like bodyguard energy because there's so many things you've been trying to put into place and you feel like it hasn't been working out in your way, but it's okay. Please slow down. <laughs> They're so excited to let you guys know what's going on. <laughs> I'm getting the messages all at one time and it's hard to sort them out. Um, okay. So you've been working your ass off. And especially since the beginning of this year, I feel like everybody's just been planting seeds. Like they're showing me visions of, of a farm and everybody's got like a shovel and they're just walking along each row planting these seeds. And we all know that it takes time for things to grow. So the more things that you do in your life, they're not going to happen instantaneously. And unfortunately, in this life that we live now with all the technology and the things that we have going on, we're really used to instant gratification. And as much as we love these things to happen, the best things take time to foster the growth, to... Mm, nurturing they're telling me nurturing you guys have not been nurturing to yourselves so your personal situation is not growing the way you need it to because you're not nurturing your own growth and by that i mean you are so used to putting other people's stuff ahead of your own and not taking care of yourself first because you feel guilty or you feel obligated or you feel like it's what's expected of you if you don't come first and you don't and you don't take care of yourself first, you can't get these other things going on. It's just, it's too much. It's too much for everybody. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we'll get to the cards. I'll shut up now. Um, eight of water. Eight of cups. is very intuitive energy. I feel like a lot of you have been wanting to come into your own situations as far as like um, like you've been exploring your own intuitiveness and your own abilities and the thing is everybody is born with abilities but society family life religion whatever however you grow up it's taught to condition those things out of us because they don't have the knowledge and the understanding of what it is so 
they're afraid of it. So immediately they have to get rid of it. I will tell you this. The one thing I always usually say is, you know, kids always have like imaginary friends or sometimes you walk in and your kids like talking to the wall or something. It's never an imaginary friend. It's always either their spirit guides or their guardian angels that they're talking to. It's perfectly normal. And a lot of people don't understand it, so they immediately start taking in the psychiatrist and all these people to start tricking their minds into thinking it's just their imagination. It's never just their imagination. When you're born, your veil is very thin. And until you start getting conditioned to believe otherwise, it's perfectly natural for you to see your spirit guides and talk with them and know that they're there for you because it's just like having your mom in the room. They know that they're there to protect you and you feel safe because you know they just want the best for you. So... Coming into this in my own, I started in 19, when I was 19 doing this. I have 15 years plus experience looking into my gifts, and the more I do it, the freer I feel, the stronger I am, and the more sure of myself I am, because I know that I have these things. I've always known that I've had these abilities, but I've been conditioned. I grew up in the Roman Catholic Church. I'm sure some of you know how that goes. <laughs> You very well may be, Danielle. The way to find these things out, because I was I was at a stalemate with it for a while. I felt like I didn't know where to go with it or where to start. Books. I went into my, my favorite metaphysical place. I started going there when I was like 12. I didn't know why I was always drawn to this place. But I was always like, oh, they have pretty crystals. And they had to do. And I saw the movie Practical Magic when I was a kid. And it just opened my eyes to be like, this is normal, but people don't understand it, so they're scared of it. So they have to make it look bad. Like, I'm also a white witch, um, a kitchen witch. There's all different types of witchcraft that goes into whatever. Um, no, you're definitely a people person. It's just overwhelming for you um, because it's the same way I am. The older I get and the more I hone into my gifts, I can't do crowds anymore. It'll send me into a panic attack. I can't do crowds. I mean, of course I can tell my guides, please turn it off until I tell you to turn it back on. And I picture them shutting off a light switch. And then when I ask them to turn it back on, because I'm also a hairstylist, I'm constantly talking to people and touching people. And I also work in the film industry. I'm on sets with hundreds of people sometimes. It could cripple me if I didn't learn how to ground myself. So, um... When you start learning about yourself and what you think you have and what you're drawn to, there's no wrong or right way to go about doing any of this. Um, it's what's natural to you. It's what you're drawn to. It's what you feel most comfortable using as a tool um, to get you to that place. And then when you finally find what you're looking for and what you're meant for, It'll just click. It's very confusing. And you know what? It's very interesting that I was told by everybody's guides to use this deck because it's one of the very first decks I ever bought. <laughs> when I was explain when I was trying to come into my own and learn about this stuff, this was the second tarot deck I ever bought. It's very interesting to me that this deck is what I'm, I'm being called to use today. Can't make this stuff up. Holy cow. Okay, I'll shut up again. I'm sorry. When spirit gets going, I go on a tangent. <laughs> um, a desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. What did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? Wow. Spiritual and emotional growth. Information. You need to educate yourself on what... Is drawn to you if you have a local middle physical shop go in there and just feel it out and by that I mean you're an empath go in there and just whatever you're drawn to go check it out if there's a book you see go check it out read it you may end up learning something if there's specific things you're drawn to like specific crystals those are the things you need in your life I went out of town and I ended up going to this expo and Black tourmaline. I was immediately drawn to this and I was like, clearly I need it. And I was immediately drawn to this ring. It's a ruby. I, and I, I'm not super smart with crystals. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm more of a medium where I can just kind of like use my own natural situation to make things. I don't need to, um, I don't need to work with crystals. And I mean, I can if I want to, but I'll probably explore that later on just because I'm curious on how it works. Um, but I just picked out the things that I was drawn to. And then later I go and look them up and figure out what they're needed for. And it's exactly, exactly what I've been needing. So, um, I've been trying to tap into my spiritual side nonstop. Okay. Well, information, information is a thing. So the more you feel like you want to get into it, start watching more TikToks with this type of, of, of thing and whoever you vibe with, follow them. Then when they go live, you'll connect with them more and then you'll have more of an outcome from the reading itself because you're vibing with their energy. Only follow somebody if you vibe with their energy. Don't follow like 60 to 70 different people because that's, geez, that's a lot of information from a lot of different spirit guides. Um, but just like pick and choose like five or six that you really vibe with and just stick to those. Yes, absolutely. And I mean, Amazon is full. If you just type in spirituality or mediumship or whatever you feel like you're drawn to, it'll pull up all kinds of information. So much information. Um, I appreciate you tapping. Um, if you guys are in here and it's resonating with you, I'm big on interaction. Please comment below. Let me know if it's making sense to you. Um, we've only gotten one card into the reading because I have so much to say. So the nine of earth, this is pentacle energy. Um, this is the tangible, the physical, the things that we physically have in our lives, like money, you know, material stuff. Um, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. I have a feeling that one was for me because I literally just started my website last night. So I'm just, I'm testing it out to see how it goes. If you guys are interested, you can check it out. It's in my link under my bio. <coughs> And I apologize, I'm still getting over some allergy stuff. Six of air. This is Aquarius energy. Um, things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip, some, oh, and it's so funny because it's Labor Day weekend and the eight of water popped up. I feel like a lot of you guys are doing the pool for the last time. Um, you're going to the river, you're going to the lake, you're going to spend the day at the beach or whatever. Um, oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. Um, Don't worry about it, though. Like, I feel like you guys are in the situation where you're planning this situation and you're just like, oh, my God, we can't afford this right now. Oh, my gosh. It's just done. Da, 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 da. Just just shut up and go on the trip. Take a trip. I feel like you need to be by water, though, because it's supposed to be very cleansing and grounding. I love going to the beach. I've only been once in my entire life. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And that is the most calm I have ever felt in my life. So... I feel like some of you guys just need to get more in touch with nature and start doing, yes, water, doing um, things that serve you in a way that nothing else can. And I mean, it doesn't have to be anything extravagant. If finances are worrying you, just take an extra five minutes in the shower. Like when you're done doing all your stuff, just stand there and let the water run on you. Listen to the water and the sounds that it's making. I mean, be careful because I have fallen asleep doing that in the shower and you will fall. Be careful. Um, <laughs> but um, just taking those extra five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, set aside 20 to 30 minutes a day for yourself. And it doesn't have to be done all at one time. You can break it up into increments, make it work for you. You have got to start learning how to stop taking on everyone else's crap and tell them you're going to survive for the next 20 minutes. I'm going to go sit in the Target parking lot and get a coffee. Just doing that or taking the long way home from work so that you don't go home right away. Like I do that all the time. I, music is my love language and it speaks to my soul. So I always just drive a little extra at the end of the day to kind of like regroup 
kind of like calm down from the day of the clients and everything and just kind of recenter myself and get back to who I am. Because when you start doing that, you're just going to be so much better and everything's just going to start flowing so much better for you. Um, hey, you found me for a reason, babe. There's a reason. There's always a reason. Um, Archangel Gabriel. It's funny because that's my son's name. Um, and I told you the angels were in full swing today. Uh, look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Oh my God. What did I just say? I get so excited when that happens. I've been doing this for like 15 plus years and it's still, I get the goosies. It's just so awesome to hear that confirmation from spirit and your angels to know that what you're being told is confirming what's happening. I'm, I'm literally just the messenger. Seriously. The confirmation. You guys are losing yourselves in the mundane. You're losing yourselves in who you are or who you used to be in the projects from work or, you know, home life or whatever. You are also a person. And it is absolutely okay and you are totally allowed to do these things. I have people that have told me, oh, my husband won't let me spend money on that. My husband won't let me, da, da, da. What let? You are an individual. If your husband has a problem with you letting you stay out of the house for an extra 20 minutes, there's a bigger problem than what's happening in your marriage. I mean... That's ridiculous. They shouldn't have to, I mean, you should be ever, uh, you should just be like, um, yeah, I'm on my way home from work, but I feel like going to the store. So I'll see you in about an hour or so. Like you don't need to ask permission. You just out of respect so that they don't think you're on the side of the road dead somewhere. Just be like, Hey, I'm going here after work. You don't need to ask permission. You're just going to tell them. And if they have a problem with it, y'all either need counseling, um, marriage therapy, I don't know, or you just need to have a good talk to that person and start standing up for yourself because it's not fair. It's not fair to you to have to ask permission to go, Pfft. you are a grown ass adult. Go do your thing and they'll have to deal. They will survive without you for an extra hour. It's fine. Three kids. Who's got three kids in here? Three kids and a husband. Right. You got three kids, Danielle? Okay, clearly, I mean, we're Kim Patty. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... And then the next one is Archangel Azriel. Release. The end of a phase or a situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. Oh my goodness. Nice. Yeah, see? I don't want to kind of call you out personally, but there's like two of us in here. So hang on. My thing's not wanting to focus. Let me turn the light on. Hang on. That's better. Okay. So, and that's what this is about. This isn't about blowing smoke up your ass or sugarcoating anything for you. I'm a very honest person in real life. And when spirit comes through, they take me over. I don't, I don't completely channel to the point where I leave my body and they come in and do the talking. I just like, they're like this. And I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Bitch, you got to get it together. Like, mm-mm. I, I, I want to say there's like contemplation of divorce or something going on. Um, yeah, tough love is the best because a lot of people are scared to do that for each other, but sometimes we need that because it's too much just sitting around trying to like, oh, well, I don't know what to do and da, 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 da. Sometimes you need that. Um, but I feel like divorce is being contemplated or you're just like so hungry for a life of your own, which I know you love your kids and I know you love your husband, but sometimes it feels like they don't treat you like a human and they're, you're just there to wait on them hand and foot, cook them dinner, do the laundry. I feel like you're a very stay-at-home person. I don't know if you work from home or if most of your life is done around the home. Um, 
Yeah. Um, it says time to move on. I don't feel like this is, this is serving you well. And this past full moon energy, this super moon, the blue moon, we've got four of them this year. This year is full of tower moments. And what I mean by that is tower moments are, are moments that come in and shake your world up. They seem like they're really bad at the time, which they can be tragic. They can be terrible, but there's no bad anything in tarot. Okay. Yeah. So you're a stay at home mom. Um, um, tarot, ta uh, towel, <laughs> excuse me, stroke. Um, tower moments are there to shake your world up because you've been procrastinating and sleeping on yourself and you've been wanting to do these things and you're trying to figure out how, and if you're not jumping on it, when spirit is clearly letting you give the chance to yourself, these tower moments come in and then boom, you have to change no matter what, because spirit's like, all right, you got your three strikes and you're out. Now it's our turn to shake it up for you so that you can finally get out of your situation. Um, I don't know if you can necessarily let it go because it's something that really, really affected you as a person and it kind of took away your value, your self value. And, um, that's a really hard thing to get back. I was in a toxic relationship like that. Um, and it's, it's terrible. Um, and it's really hard to get yourself out of, but if you keep listening to your spirit guides and you start coming more into your own spirituality, and your angels are there to protect you. And they are constantly putting signs in your path all the time. I know you see them. But it's not just imagination. And because sometimes people just, oh, that's interesting. And then they keep going on with their day. Maybe it's just in my head. No. If you hear things or you see an image of something or whatever, clearly your guides are telling you this is what we're trying to tell you is going to get you out of the situation. But the tower moments come up and then they're like, hey, we tried to tell you. Now we got to do it for real. So they're just trying to help you. Do your highest and best for yourself. Um, time to move on. That card right there, it says time to move on. This is a potential obstacle for you getting to your highest and best purpose. You've got to be able to take that leap of faith. Nobody else is going to do it. I mean, this is a situation that this is a you thing. Nobody's going to pull you out of it yourself. You can't just sit around waiting for him to mess up so that you can finally pull the trigger. Because clearly this is not. Um, sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> yes, trust is broken and it's hard to get back, but... You can only do so much. It's not up to you to fix the entire situation. It's a two-way street. It takes two people to mess a relationship up, and it takes two people to fix it. You can put in all the effort you want, but unless the other person is willing to come the other 50 with it, it's not going to work. So you have to sit back, and you have to evaluate and um, meditate. Meditation has been a huge lifesaver for me. Um I, I'm one of those people where my brain literally will not shut off. I have an ADHD thing going on. I have anxiety and panic disorder. So spirit coming in left and right is like crazy. So, you know, just learning how to gauge yourself and what's going on. Um, uh, I do sleep meditations. So it's relaxing music and these people, you can either do guided or you can just listen to sound bowls. I love sound bowls. They make me just... It almost feels like somebody's kind of just like, like physically, physically um, calming me down. Um, but just whatever works for you. YouTube is full of them. Um, if you, sorry, I'm going to do this real quick. Um, trying to get some more people in here. I feel like a lot of people need to hear this. Okay. Sorry. Um, sometimes trying to get out of your head makes it worse because you're pushing too hard. Like I said before with the pushing, it's not a good thing. Um, 
So I just do sleep meditations because it helps me breathe. It helps me relax and calm myself before I fall asleep. And then it keeps going as I'm sleeping. So subconsciously, I'm getting, you know, the, the messages that I need to hear for healing, all these different things. And then it's almost to the point where um, I'll wake up like last night. I was just really worn down. I was tired. I was really freaked out about what I wanted to do with myself and all this other stuff. Um, but I woke up this morning after listening to this one meditation. I forgot what, what it was called, but I had some lucid dreams. I mean, I haven't dreamed in a long time, which is hard, weird for me because I'm uh, a person that usually is very aware all the time but I mean I started having dreams again my my everything was starting to feel unblocked and then I woke up this morning and I was just like excited I, you know that when you were a kid and you start like you wake up at like five o'clock in the morning on Christmas morning and you're like did Santa come that's how I felt this morning I'm like oh I don't know what's going on but I like it like <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's why she's getting a little bit more personal information is because um, for a minute there, she was the only one in this live. So I was connecting directly with her energy. It just so happened out that way. But this is a collective for everyone involved. So I did ask for the for God's Source Universe and the angels to connect me to my angels and spirit guides, as well as everybody who's meant to hear this message is spirit guides and angels. So this is for you as well. So if you have questions, just keep listening and you'll probably hear the message that you need to hear. And they're timeless. So um, if you need to come back and watch it when I repost it, um, my links to my YouTube and I think my Facebook and Insta is in there too. Um, I literally last night, um, it was interesting that this card popped out secondly because I already run my own business as a hairstylist and makeup artist. And last year I started getting into the film industry. And these are things that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. Like I've been doing hair for the last 15 and a half years though. I was also an EMT. I just go where spirit wants me to. I am very, like people might call me a flake. That's fine. But I'm just, I'm not afraid to try things out. Because it may end up being the thing that I love. I loved all of it. It just wasn't good for my situation being an EMT. Um, especially being a, such a sensitive empath. I started taking on my patient's ailments. And I was hospitalized a couple of times. But nothing was wrong with me. So I physically can't work in that industry just because of my gifts. It will take me out. So I, I can't. I mean, I loved it to death. But I just. It's not safe for me. <laughs> um, but I do have my own hair business and I started working in the film industry. I've already got eight titles under my IMDb, which is awesome. Usually people don't take, clearly this is meant for me because that doesn't happen. Like within a year I'm already work, and I've got like six or seven more projects lined up for the next year. So I'm trying to start my own production company. I'm just like, okay, I don't know what you're trying to do to me, but I'm going with it. And last night I put it in my head to start doing tarot. Like, okay, well, I've been doing tarot for a long time, but they told me to go public with it last night. So I did a live yesterday because I felt moved to do it on my Facebook page and it was pretty well received. Um, but this card came out secondly because I'm also part of the collective. So sometimes the messages resonate for me as well. And it's really fun to interact with you guys because we're all getting the same messages at the same time. So it's not just me spitting stuff. This makes sense for me too. Um... I was so moved, like I didn't stop setting it up till like three o'clock this morning because I was so excited about it and I would not give up until it was done. So my new website, Successful Self-Employment, my new website is in my link. It's The link is in my TikTok bio. Hey mama, how you doing? Um, yeah, so I just made this website. It's not even 12 hours old yet. So <laughs> I'm like, why not? So I just put a few starter services on there to get me in and, you know, just see what happens. I'm just putting it out there. So if you guys want to check it out, you're more than welcome. Um, sometimes I do readings on here, but there's not a whole lot of people in here. So 
Um, plus, I don't. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on here today because I just got done working out and um, I kind of want to take a nap. <laughs> so I have a big shoot this weekend. I'm going to be working at the salon and I'll be on set. So I pretty much will be gone until Monday. Um, so I, I want to rest and take care of my body today because I'm going to need it for the next few days. However, back to the cards. Eight of fire. If you're a fire sign, this is definitely your energy coming through. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. What did I just say? <laughs> yes. What did I just say? The time is now. If you guys are thinking about, hey, Mike, what's going on, babe? He's an actor that I've worked with before. Um, he's very cool. I can't wait to work with him again on set. He's awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is the time because this full moon energy, it's been in Pisces. It's, it's emotional moves, but it's also learning about discernment and being very careful. If there is a contract coming up for you or you're signing a contract for your new home, a lot of you, I feel like are moving as well. Like, distance like you're not just moving a couple of towns over you're like moving states or something like you just are in that need of that big of a change right now um but it's going to work out and be very positive which is why you should take the advantage and i mean the full card keeps popping into my head it's not in this deck but the full card keeps popping in and it's taking that leap of faith and just blindly going forward with a childlike approach, but you still need to keep your devices about you and look into the situation and educate yourself on what's going on. Um, you wish you were moving, make it happen, figure it out. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> need to keep listening to you. Oh man. I'm down with that. If you're down with that, um, the wheel, the wheel. This is this is typically the Wheel of Fortune card. This is Archangel Michael. This is the highest form of protector. Like, if you call on Michael's protection, ain't nothing gonna hurt you. Nothing is gonna mess up your situation. Archangel Michael is the one to have in your corner. And him popping up in this reading just tells me that you are fully protected to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> you are fully protected to start digging into something that you've always wanted to learn. Go back to school. You guys are just wanting to learn something completely different that you've always been interested in, but you've been afraid to pull the trigger. Um, oh, hell. I'm sorry, girl. The justice card came up for a reading that I, I gave myself this morning, though. So I have a feeling like a lot of people are going to be getting their, their karmic <laughs> retribution, <laughs> if that makes any sense. We're closing out, like, with the release and the awakening card, you're closing out toxic cycles that have served you no purpose whatsoever. And it's, it, what this is going to do is going to show you the type of freedom that you've always had, but it's been, you've kind of had the blinders on because you're so worried about that person affecting your situation or, oh my gosh, if I do this, this person's going to think I'm stupid. People are going to think I'm crazy. Who the hell cares? It's your life. It's your life, not theirs. So if you want to go and just take a trip for the hell of it, do the damn trip. If you're like me, I've had shit in my Amazon cart for the last three years. Buy the freaking shoes. It's okay. Do not worry about anything. Thank you. Have a good one, Mystic. Um. Yeah, <laughs> Christy. <laughs> Um, 
this energy though, it's with this full super moon and everything, like it's just, it's so much more intense because it's a super moon, which means the earth is closer to the gravitational pull of the moon. And you know what the moon does to the gravitational pull of the tides and the, the oceans and everything. We are also 75% water. So it makes sense that if the moon is closer to us, it's going to pull closer to us because we are magnetically drawn to the earth or to the moon because we are 90, 80, 75% water. So if it affects all of the water in the world, you definitely bet it's going to expect us humans or affect us humans because we're 75% water. So we ebb and flow with the phases of the moon and we ebb and flow with the, food, the moon's energy. This is where my answer is coming in. I need to do a lot of moon work apparently. So I'm going to be digging into that. But um, the wheel, a time of positive change. I just said it. If you're moving, it's going to be a huge life change that you're going to be doing, but it's going to have a positive outcome. It needs to happen. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. It's the wheel of fortune. Everything is constantly changing and evolving. I know we're humans and humans by nature. We are typically human um, creatures of habit. And not all of us like change, but unfortunately, change is inevitable. And we have to be willing to chill and just run with the tide, flow with it, just go with the flow. Ooh, I'm getting chills as I'm saying it. The more you learn to just go with the flow, the more you're going to be subconsciously releasing the things that you feel stuck about. And it's not going to matter anymore. It's just not. It's not. It's... It, I mean, you got to think about things that people hold grudges about. Look at the situation. I mean, some people remember very well. Some people can't even remember what they were pissed about in, with the person in the first place. But they are still iron gripped onto that. Why do you want to hold on to that shit? It just takes your energy and it makes you mad. And it's why? It, it just makes no sense. If it's been longer than six months... Let it the fuck go. Pardon, I cuss a lot too. Sorry if you have virgin ears in here. Um, but just, I mean, it does not serve you to hold on to those grudges. It does not serve you to hold on to that crap because it just, it drains you. It is an energy vampire that you're personally putting on yourself. I'm sorry. Tough love tarot yet again. You are in your own way. Okay, this is where spirit's getting a little heated. <sighs> I'm trying to calm down. <laughs> it's frustrating because I can feel your potential. I can feel your need for the change. I can feel the want. But you are so stuck in the quicksand because of this stuff that you just won't let go of. And you are the only one holding yourself back. So, it's really hard to motivate yourself to start moving past stuff and start doing things for yourself because it feels awkward at first because you're not used to doing that. But once you start doing it, oh my God, the things that are going to come in for you, you're going to feel so much lighter. You're going to handle situations much better and more calmly. You're going to have a better relationship with your kids, the people in your life. Ugh, when you finally let that shit go and understand that it's, it's, it's not doing anything for you right now. It's not doing anything to serve your purpose. It's, not, it's keeping you stuck. And it's blocking all of these amazing blessings that your archangels have for you. There's three of them right here saying, stop it. <laughs> there's three of them sitting there on the sidelines just saying okay when's she finally gonna let it go and let her let her uh gifts in and because they're like sitting there i see them sitting like on a bench <laughs> on the sidelines in a football field with like presents like arms loads of presents and they're like we've just been waiting to give this stuff but they just don't want to let it go and we can't do nothing about it until they figure it out <laughs> So it's just like, yes, I get it. 
I have depression and anxiety too. Um, Spirit's moving me to tell you this because of relatability and to show you that I'm also human. And um, almost three years ago in October, I tried to take my own life. I was in a very toxic situation. I hadn't been in that place for about 17 years. Hey, tea flower. Um, I hadn't, I hadn't been in that state of mind in 17 years, but I had someone in my home that was constantly reminding me on a daily basis of how much I never meant to them. And it was really horrible to have that energy around every single day to constantly be ignored in my own home, to have a conversation with this person and dead sentence, they just get up and walk away from me. And I'm still talking, like, constantly. There's a reason you're here, Danielle. There's a reason you're hearing this. This is your wake-up call. Um, after, because usually I'm a very strong individual, but when you have that toxicity in your situation, it is hard to separate from it, because it's in your, it's in your space. It's in your bubble. Um, but I had the presence of mind that when I had the razor to my wrist, before I went deep enough, my son popped into my head. And I'm like, what is this going to do to him? Because he needs me. I am the most sane person in our situation. <laughs> I, I can't leave him. He will be screwed if I leave. Plus... If somebody sees that shit on my arm and, and then I get in the hospital for it and they're going to document it and they're going to take custody of my kid because I'm not mentally stable. So it was like, ah, you got to pull your shit together right now because you're going to lose your child. So I pulled myself together and I calmed down. I talked to a couple of friends to kind of talk me off the edge for the night. And then um, a few days later, I started looking for counselors and I found one that does counseling over video chat. Which is perfect for me because if I'm traveling or if I'm out doing stuff for work or whatever, I can just have them on the phone with me and I don't have to go to an awesome uh, to an office for it. Um, wow, that's that's crazy, girl. Um, but yeah, I suggest that you talk to a counselor because. I mean, it's a lot of work. Um, hey, Kurt, what's up, babe? Um, he's also an actor that I've worked with in, a, in the past. He's really awesome, too. Um, I will 100 times out of 100 times tell you, mental health is absolutely the number one priority because without your mental health, everything else fails. And keep looking. You're going to find one within the next day or so. You will. Don't let your finances become a factor on why you can't. It doesn't matter. You come first. Make sure that you can figure it out and figure out a way to do it because that is what you've got to do. It's what you have to do for your kids. It's what you have to do for yourself and your family. It's important because you are not done yet. You have got a purpose and you don't know what it is yet, but you need to be around so that you can figure it out. And I have a feeling you're supposed to start doing something of this nature Um Hey, Stamper, what's up? Um, it's really hard, and it's going to be hard for a very long time. It's taken me almost three years to finally reach this point where I know my worth again. I know what I'm valued of, and that one asshole is not going to make me break myself. And I'm really ticked off still at myself for letting, my, letting that person take me down that path again, but I let, my, I let me take me down that path again. I mean, he's just a douchebag sitting around being selfish and not caring about anybody else. I fed into it. But it's hard to not do that when you're in that situation and you can't get away from that stuff. So counseling saved my life. And it saved it the first time. It's saving it again. And the more meditation I keep doing and the more exploratory I going into doing the things that I love, like the film industry, working on set doing hair for people, makeup, what have you. Um, it's, I'm finding the passion in what I'm doing again. And I'm remembering why I got into doing it because it's what I love. 
and it helps me heal people. I've had people in my chair come in and say that they wanted to commit suicide or they almost did that morning, but something told them to come in and get your hair done. It may seem very minuscule to some people, but when you look better, you feel better. And sometimes just having someone to talk to makes a huge difference. So she's still alive. They're still alive. And they're following the advice that I mentioned. And, you know, it, it's I'm a natural born healer. It's what I do. It doesn't matter how I do it. I'm just, I'm here for you guys. And this is why I'm doing this. This is why I started my tarot business. Um... Three of fire. Archangel Gabriel is telling me, when you start finally learning how to be yourself and you start stepping into your own and you start coming back to who you are as a person and you start finding yourself again and finding your passion. I'm so glad too. I mean, he's amazing. He pulls people in when they need it. So I'm just here. This, that's what I'm, I'm literally an instrument for his healing. That's, that's the gift that I have. I'm using my gift to help you guys figure it out. Um, three of fire. Once you start figuring that out and you get your counseling and you start getting yourself healthier, going for a walk every day, what have you, whatever you do for your own self care is going to start opening you up to seeing your bigger purpose. Abundance. Thing look very, things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. What I say in the very beginning about planting the seeds. Start planting your seeds. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not supposed to happen tomorrow. It is in the divine time, not ours. So just follow your instincts and follow your gut and look into whatever has been on your mind. Things have been popping into your brain about, oh, this would be cool, or da-da. Just, if you want to learn how to do pottery, it doesn't matter. It's something to help calm you, and some, like, I crochet, because it's just, it's something that soothes me, and it's something that I can do. It's another talent that God gave me that I can use to bestow upon other people. I love making Christmas presents around this time. Um, oh my God, Danielle, you could probably start writing novels there you go. Children's books, something of that nature. Um, eventually, when you start working through this, you can share your story and it can save lives. There's a purpose for you. There's a reason why you're starting to write um, and get back to those things. And journaling is very important because it gets all of the dark stuff on the page. And then I recommend getting one with like a band or a lock because once you write it down, it's out of your head, physically off on the page, and then you can physically lock it or bind it away and put it away, and it's gone. And then when you need to get more of it out, open the journal back up and start writing again. It's just another release. If you love to write, that's a great way to do that. Yes, you do, Kurt. We all know. <laughs> I'm writing a horror too, actually. Yes, and do that before bed. Keep Get also another journal for a dream journal. If you have a dream and you wake up, write it down. There's messages in there. As much as you can remember, write it down. Because there's things in there that you need to look into. Maybe you're meant to interpret dreams or something, Danielle. I have a feeling. Um, King of Fire motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision. Be a leader. Advice from someone creative. This is mentorship stuff. You're meant to work with somebody. You guys are meant to work with mentors or somebody that has been through the things that you have been through or currently going through. So that you can learn together. Because mentors even need mentors. I have two of them. I Nobody is perfect. We are a constant work in progress. People constantly ask all the time. People constantly ask me all the time. What is the purpose? Why are we here? Da, 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 da. We are here to learn. 
we're here to love. There is an, and when, when tarot readers say abundance, they usually tie it in with the monetary. It's not always monetary abundance. You can have an abundance of self-love. You can have an abundance of love for your family. You can have an abundance in your career. You have great work relationships with people. You love your career. To truly love and be passionate about something is abundance. And if you have a home to sleep in, you have a bed, you have a, a home that keeps the rain off your head, that is abundance. An attitude of gratitude is the number one thing that will get you past anything in your life. And even if you're not feeling it, still say it. Like, I put a post-it on my, my mirror. It just says attitude of gratitude. And it prompts me to thank God every morning for what I have. Thank God for my son, first of all and foremost. I wasn't even supposed to have kids. There's a reason God entrusted me to be his mother. Um, so, you know, he's my main blessing and he is my reason. I thank God for him every single day. I would never. Um, if you want a reading, you can go ahead and um, check the link in my bio. It's right below my bio. Um, I just actually opened the website last night. So you can peek around on there. Um... Afraid that I will turn one one of our bathrooms into a dark room. <laughs> that could wind up paying off in the end. Don't be afraid of it. Just do it. I mean, what the hell? That's the thing. <clears throat> Sorry. Lots of things to say at that point, but I'm trying to like calm. Let the guides tell me one at a time because they get so excited. Um <sighs> We're only on this planet for a short amount of time, okay? It seems like forever, but in the infinite, the infinity of everything, it's, it's really a blip in our soul journey. So 80 to 100 years is like 10 seconds in your spiritual situation. Um, people believe in reincarnation. I do the past lives. Um, I know I'm on at least my fourth one. I'm a very old soul. My son is at least on his fourth or fifth one. He's a very old soul. He's 14 and he's already talking like IRA, uh, 401k. And I'm like, I'm 36 and I'm like, uh, can we go shopping? Like he's definitely more mature than I am spiritually. <laughs> but we are placed in each other's lives for a reason. We go through the things that we go through for a reason. I had a very crazy life growing up. It, I mean, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't necessarily good either. And everybody's got their own situations. I've been through several traumas and I've been through lots of, of, <sighs> lots of abusive physically, mentally, sexually information through my entire life, like situations. So to learn from that is not that I deserved what I got because I sure the hell did not. Um, it's to learn that I can either let that destroy me and I become bitter and hateful for the rest of my life and don't learn anything or in spite of those things, I can do the exact opposite and flip the script and be the opposite person that they tell me I am and be the opposite person of who they think I am. And the more I started learning how to do that, I am just so much better for it. And I'm so much more at peace in my heart and my spirit. It's important that everybody understands that these things that we go through, they're not our fault. They're not. They're not your fault. Um, and, you know, I have to come to terms with my abusers. I will never get an apology. They will never, ever, ever feel remorse for the things they did and said to me. And for a long time, I struggled with that because it made me feel even more invaluable and unimportant that I wasn't worthy of an apology. But... 
what I come from is that I'm accepting the fact that they are who they are. It has nothing to do with me. I didn't deserve what I went through. I didn't deserve what I was told my whole life. I didn't deserve to go through any of those situations. And those kinds of toxic people are not going to give me the satisfaction and the closure that I need to move on by simply telling me I was really horrible. I shouldn't have done that to you. And I'm sorry. I won't get that. And that's fine because that's a them situation. That's a them problem. It's not a me problem. So I, for about 10 years, I let that anger consume me and I was bitter and it took so much of my energy. But once I started to realize they're constantly going to be fucking people's lives up and I am no longer in their grasp. So it doesn't concern me anymore and I don't have to let it. So I'd rather just, you know, go do you and I'll do me and I don't need anything from you. I'm good. That's the whole premise of why we need to learn these lessons because it's, it's about learning who you are as a person and self-love and coming through these situations and realizing when you need to cut the toxic tie so that you can fulfill your greater purpose. Now, these experiences that I went through are going to help me. In the long run, because now I'm going to be a successful person by sharing my story with people so that they don't feel alone and they aren't scared to step up and stand up for themselves. And the bravest thing you can do is just walk the hell away and start living your own life like they never even were a part of it. And if they try to come back in your life to ride the coattails, oh, Absolutely not. Karma's a bitch and she bites way harder than I can. So I'm just going to let you do you and your situation will work itself out however it's supposed to. God's going to take care of you. I don't need to bother with you anymore. I'm going to go do me. It's much more freeing that way. Last card, King of Air. Brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. You guys can't make this shit up. You really can't make this shit up. Seek professional advice, therapy, counseling, whatever you need to do to help sort it out. Balance mental and emotional considerations. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even need the damn cards. I'm like, let's just do this. I got paper. I'm just going to scribble and talk. Is that fine? Like I, but this is just extra confirmation and a visual to show you that what I'm saying is not bullshit. And it's something you clearly needed to be called out on today because you are absolutely worthy and you are absolutely allowed to have a good life and be happy. You don't need anyone's permission to do that, but your own. So give yourself permission already. Let yourself have it. It's okay. You are absolutely worthy of letting yourself have something wonderful. And if the people around you don't feel the same way, you gotta go. You can either be with me and support me and back me, the way I do for you, or you can get the hell out of my life because all you're doing is dragging me down and I don't deserve to stay stuck. It's scary because we get complacent and we stay in, in situations that we think we have to stay in because it's what we're supposed to do and it's all we have. No, I do not accept that. I don't accept that for any one of you. You guys have the ability to tell yourself it's okay to do this for yourself. And if somebody gets mad about it or pissed off, it's because they're mad that you're not giving them your full attention anymore. And they're jealous because they don't have the same size balls you do to pull the trigger. Ooh, sorry. To uh, uh, make it happen. Let's go with that. <laughs> but yeah. 
a really good reading, guys. I mean, it's tough love tarot, and I feel like I kind of yell at people sometimes, but that's kind of how I do things. It's it's a, it's a tough love thing, and there's times to be honeyed with my tones, and there's times to be a little more forceful with it, but sometimes that's how people respond and react better, to actually hear what you're saying. So I'm here to just tell you that you're important and that you deserve to have the things that everybody else around you is getting. And you're not because you're constantly giving up your situation to make other people happy. No more. And this is the time to do it. This year, at this time of the year, because fall is coming in, we're about to have our fourth super moon at the end of this month. This is major transformation energy. Major transformation energy. So now is the time to take advantage of that. Start meditating. Start manifesting. And by what I mean is some people make vision boards. Make a vision board of everything you've ever wanted. Oh, I'm getting the chills again. Spirit's like, yes. Um, make a vision board. Put something on your mirror every day to, to repeat as a mantra. Do something to visualize the things that you want and the type of life you want to have. And I guarantee you, if you start looking into things and you start just relaxing and understand that spirit has got your back and your angels are constantly working for you behind the scenes, it's going to fall into place. But you also have to put in the work. You also have to take time for yourself. You have to take, um, you have to start finding things that are done for yourself that don't include anyone else. I.e., I'm in a community choir at Lindenwood University in St. Louis. Every Tuesday I go and just sing because I've been singing since I was three. Music is my happy place. It's just for me. My son doesn't come with me. My family doesn't come with me. It's just for me, and it helps feed my soul. I go and volunteer at the Wildlife Command Center two, three times a month, if I can possibly squeeze that into my schedule. Um, because animals, I'm very connected to animals. I connect with them very well. I communicate with them very well, and I they just make me so happy. It's just they love the nurturing that I'm able to give them, and I love that they let me nurture them because it's just something that I do. Um... And animals are the most in tune spiritual creatures ever. So it makes sense to want to work with them all the time because it's nature and they're wonderful. Um, that's just for me. Nobody else is involved but me uh, doing the film stuff. I'm trying to get my son involved because I think he'd be really interested in it, but he's 14 and he's not want to hang out with mom very much, but it's whatever. He'll eventually get it. Um, but you know, I'm giving him his space right now too, because he's also very gifted and he knows he is, but he's afraid to figure it out. So I'm kind of letting him work out his situation and give him his space and a little bit of distance. Not too much though. I'm still his mom. I still got to brag on him every once in a while, but you know, he's, he's also a human and we need to treat each other how we want to be treated. So when he asks me, he asks me. Um, but yeah, those are just some things that you can start getting yourself involved in. Get into a book club. Get into like pottery or find something creative to do. I love crocheting, like I said. It's just something fun to do while I sit there and binge watch crime documentaries. I don't know why. <coughs> it's just fun. And it also helps me from stop uh, from smoking so much, so it's also healthy for me. Um, but just, you know, little things that you find interest in, in and you, you can teach yourself how to, you don't have to take classes and stuff. YouTube is full of information or take classes. If there's classes you want to take, look into them, see how much they are. Don't worry about the fucking finances. If you don't invest in yourself, the universe isn't going to give you anything back. Usually what you invest in yourself, you get back tenfold. Don't worry about if you're going to get the money back. Don't worry about if you're going to get your time and your energy back. Don't worry about that because you're using it for yourself and the universe's goal is to teach us how to love for ourselves. And in turn, we can love for each other. 
because we're loving ourselves. Only when you love yourself, you can truly give back to other people. You don't need to do it out of distraction from taking care of yourself, which I feel like a lot of you do. Sorry. I'm still working out this allergy crap. <coughs> um, but yeah, as soon as you start taking better care of yourself, you're going to just be so much more beneficial to everyone in your life, especially you. So this is a beautiful reading. You guys are going to be fine. I promise. It's a really tr tricky situation. There's lots of major life shifts happening right now, but they are positive. So take them as they come, go with the flow and just learn about yourself. Find yourself again. Start getting interested in things and, and figure out who you are again. It can only do good for you. So um, if you want a personal reading with me, I have a link in my bio. And go to the website and it pops up a calendar when you go to book with me. Um, it shows you when my availability is and then it'll put it on my calendar for me. And then I'm still trying to decide if I want to do live readings with you on the chat or if you want to do pre-recorded. Like, it's totally fine. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. Um, whatever you're most comfortable with, because that's when we're going to get the best messages is when you're not tense. So however you want to do it, just let me know. Shoot me a message. Um, and I will... I will catch up with you guys later. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can reach out to me there on Instagram, whatever you want to do. It's your world. I'm just living in it. Love you guys. Have a good one. Oh, let me turn this off. <laughs> okay. Yes. Have a good day. Love you guys. I'm happy I met you too, babe. There's a reason you were here today to hear all of this. So I will catch up with you in the future. Um, I'll probably do these like once or twice a week, depending on how my crazy schedule goes, but I will let you know. Thanks guys.